Hey guys, welcome back to the Irish Zone and you just saw the new intro for the Retro Machine 20, 2022 the new Retro Machine, call it Retro Machine 2 call, call it like you want I just called the new Retro Machine, formerly Retro Machine 1 it's just uh, the sequel of the old retro machine, which is uh, was released one year ago, 9 June, June. So, uh, one year is passed, and uh, one year took uh, 12 months to made retro machine. So, two years basically for the new retro machine. But uh, this is very new do not consider that like uh, uh, update it's it's just way more than an update it's just rebuilt from scratch and all sets are new and there's very very revolutionary option which i i am very proud i've already showed you those option on separated videos this is just a new showcase where I just show you the complete image. This is the full product. It's the 512 gigabyte version. So the ultimate version, a uh, uh, um, full whole family of retro machine image is planned, but that one it's 100% sure the 512 gigabyte will be released first and this is just the the version you see there it's incredible it's just incredible the the old retro machine was uh, uh, also a very good image that there, there's a very less feed negative feedbacks um, about it uh, almost uh, all the user that download the image was happy with with it so it's an image i work worked very hard on that image but i'm proud of the results but that one it's just on another, another level so i show you but this is just a a showcase that i record basically firstly for my vip users because my vip family community just trusted me and um, waited patiently so I'm very proud of them so I just uh, record this video for them to show them that uh, this is not just works uh, works <laughs> works also works uh, you know you you tested my works and uh, you know I I don't just talk I have facts and I provide you facts with this this you recognize the it's made on base retropie 4.8 the last updated version of retropie which is a little improved but you know retropie still have the the, the old the old lovely retropie still have uh, his issues so I'm just uh, working around um, to smooth the corner of RetroPie and I'm I'm proud of, of this because uh, for example the bezel manager it's one of the great new things of the retro machine 2022 because uh, now you can switch on the fly the bezel and you can also switch off the bezel or you can switch between a scan light bezel which I will show you and I'm very proud of it or the system related bezel so every system has its own bezel with its own artworks okay but uh, since I know that some of you don't, don't like uh, the bezel now you can disable once and for all you can you can enable back of course but you can disable all the bezel in one command the script will allow overlays management overlays are an image that serves to fit the wide screen case 
for the radius use it you can switch between system overlays and retro machine scan lights overlay or disable it okay so this is the system overlay of every so means every system has its own overlay the scan line overlays all system have the same overlay the retro machine overlay which is also the full overlay with the scan line effect performance scan line just listen closely performance scan line which have zero impact on performance this is very important turn on or turn off you hate overlays just turn off and uh, they they are gone until you decide to have the the bezel back okay demo mode this is uh, uh, it's not perfect i for that reason i've just uh, uh, let this uh, this feature on uh, i i cannot find the words but it's not uh, uh, prominent i don't know because there's some issues with this demo, demo mode basically it plays a random games for you for 60 seconds then switch to another game but i have some uh, issues with this script because uh, i don't made the script i i just uh, found online the script and uh, edit a little by myself and uh, add some things uh, i don't think this is a perfect script honestly but it's interesting you can just uh, uh, see uh, a showcase of games one games every 60 seconds and if you play on controller you can enter this game and play actually but if you start with uh, any controller um, plug it to the pi it will not uh, switch the game it switch only if you start the script with a keyboard you can use for example a usb keyboard if you want and uh, if you're interested on in a game show it you just plug your control and you enter the game okay but i have some issues to to deal with uh, first off i have to um, cut off some system a lot of system to be honest because uh, guys and uh, see 60 seconds 60 second of a commodore 64 mm, crack crack screen is not uh, the best basically so i just uh, uh, keep the kept the the system that are more spectacular let's say like that like a uh, 60-bit console mega drive super nintendo nes and uh, there's not the home system home computer system because it is not enough to see them for 60 seconds you can increase the, the time uh, of the demo you can increase to two minutes if you want but basically uh, it's a nonsensical so i just uh, um, kept the, the the system and the console system basically uh, and also because there's a, a retro machine own a random system uh, random system game the mr random mode where you can start a random game from the screen server in that case every game can be picked of the entire set there's not a problem because i will show the demo mode later this is to, to switch the, the mega driver genesis of snes europe and usa for our friends american friends the joystick selection this is another interesting feature because you can assign uh, up to four different controllers the magic cleaner i just love this this um, script i made this and uh, i'm very proud of because with this script you have uh, total control of image control that uh, retropie doesn't allow you if you use it uh, through emulation stage basically you can uh, delete uh, configuration for a system that you want you can select the system you want okay or you can delete uh, all the configuration for all system you can delete uh, video modes if you have set uh, a custom mode for uh, every emulator and clean ghost file this is fantastic option to clean file which can be generated if you copy files from a pc those files are very annoying because those files just talk space on image okay 
I already showed those uh, features, of course, but in case you miss them, uh, this is the music player which now have uh, his own uh, manager. From there you can edit uh, almost all things related to the visual music player. You can change the the, the shape of the pop-up of the, the title track. You can change the fade uh, after some seconds, seven or ten seconds, uh, you can decide uh, all the um, the overlays uh, related to the, the the BGM, the BGM song title uh, show shows, or you can delete the um, the music player, or you can change the internal volume of the music player, not the uh, RetroPie volume. So you can enable the OGST display, for example. You have plenty of choices and of course you can change between two different soundtrack so this is fantastic the, the full soundtrack is a uh, neon synthway style the alternative of this soundtrack is a remix of uh, many famous video games okay the open board manager another great great feature because you can now you can set the controller you want uh, without the need to plug a keyboard to uh, to set the controller case by case in that in that case just to select the, your controller of choice and every open board game will works and you can switch controller too is fantastic the save state manager another great great option because there you can manage all the save states the save states are special state that you can use uh, on an emulator and you can save where you want but those files are very expensive on space and you cannot manage them for example delete them if you if you don't use the internal fan manager of RetroPie but you have to be sure where those files are located is dangerous so with this utility you can just uh, delete the the save states for each system immediately this will be the save state for each system save states are files that can be saved or loaded from the menu those are very useful because they act independently from games on saves okay they are super useful but they, uh, they are also dangerous because they they take space but file can take a lot of space like i said i might be convenient to raise them just select the system shots and the save state will be deleted used wisely okay just to give you an example i just deleted recently the playstation save states i just gained uh, 300 of megabytes 300 of save states guys i've just and psp sorry not the playstation <laughs> psp i just saved um 12 games i think a dozen of games not more dozen of games thousand uh, of uh, megabytes okay so uh, it's very useful to gain space the speed mode you have four 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 different speed modes uh, speed modes based on your setting if you are retropy with a very efficient uh, uh, fan or an argon case you just go for the omega mode which is more than 2000 gigahertz the retro pi will fit <laughs> your pi4 this is the image for the pi4 of course uh, the 4 gigabyte version will fly and the super ultra yes super ultra yes you can increase the performance of emulation station and that even that one it's uh, uh, it's best uh, used for uh, an argon case or a case with a very efficient fan. Those are suggest suggested hardware. The system info them randomizer you can you can uh, start uh, every boot with a different team. There's a lot of custom team. This is the fluent white. But there's a lot of team you see it for example there's uh, and uh, i'm very interested to um, 
to talk you about that there's the the new team that i made for the standalone image for example the spectral image the the amiga image and the, the atari st image for example just uh, move to the arcade which is the the team i use it on the atari image and this team reworked a little is there also Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I was wrong. It's Atarians, not Arcadian. Okay, mm, when you change the team, it's very important to reset emulation station because the performance uh, will take a, a, a big hit if you don't reset the emulation station. Just wait some seconds and uh, we'll be back faster like before. Okay, so this is the, the Atarian team. Do you recognize this is the team I used on the Atari ST image? If you press start, uh, uh, select, sorry, select during the the main screen of emulation station um, you you start the the screen saver and if you press start during the screen saver the a random game will start okay okay basically uh, this is the option of uh, and and most of the, the the new feature of this image but i repeat the the the, the, the sets are all remade for uh, almost 24000 games you see 23774 games let me pick my controller because i want to uh, enter into action but before before of before of that okay i want to talk about some ah this is the advanced option i forgot uh, there's some uh, advanced option for those who want to explore deeply the image and then uh, have uh, a usb control to use because the usb control it's mandatory but the most important of this bunch is the fan speed configuration if you have an ergon case and i'm sure you have because this is the, just the best case for the pf4 you can change the speed of the fan without the need to exit uh, emulation station and go to the shell no need anymore because if you just need a, a usb keyboard and you can change from from emulation station okay I want to talk about something. The, this image is basically done. I very want to release uh, for the anniversary of the old retro machine. So after one year, the 9th of June, for to be precise, with uh, just be today if uh, I am able to upload the video. Okay, I just show by actual issues i don't have enough enough space you see i have two 2.6 gigabyte free which is uh, is not enough i need at least uh, between between six or seven gigabytes so i have to gain at least four 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 gigabyte and half at least so i can re i cannot release with so that amount of space is not enough and uh, the image uh, may be unstable with uh, uh, that amount of free space i need more so you you know that the fight for the, the space is uh, it's hard it's hard as hell there's the you see the tubography is expanded there's it's harder to talk about all the, the news of this image because the set are all set basically are improved there's a, a, an out of this world super famicom set even if i will not show never show nintendo games sorry 
the new Mega CD games, it's Japanese uh, Sega CD, it's standalone now. The Sega CD, it's KVM, the Sega Saturn, the Sega Saturn was a complicated system because, uh, you know, it's not the best on the VI4, but I know you love that. My VIP boys love that because I've decided to to keep it because the emulator, to be honest, it's a little improved recently. This, the set PlayStation, it's also this world 614 games, the, the PSP, the ports, there's the Doom games, which is great. The, 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 the Hurricane, the Hurricane is a, a very great game. It's um, super hard to make it work or to buy. This is the first image with a, a, a working version of Hurricane. So, I will show Hurricane on another video, don't, don't worry, this is just a... There will be a lot of videos, don't worry, and uh, I know you also love the desktop mode, this image I also have the desktop, desktop mode, so it, it turns into the computer, basically. Okay, let, let's go into action a little, because... Uh, I will I will show you only one game for this showcase. Don't worry, there will be more. Uh, the Final Fantasy Anniversary Edition. 